To start our project, we will use the most popular starter for React projects, Create React App. To use the starter, we need to install it globally. And after installation, we can create a project, let's call it Breakout Game. It also takes a few seconds to install all the libraries. Now let's open this project with code editor. In my case, this is VS Code. Inside of public directory, we have bare minimum, HTML and manifest. Inside of SRC, we have quite a few files, but we don't need all of them. And we don't write test in this course. And let's remove this SVG. Now let's start with editing styles. Let's start with HTML styles. We make HTML with a height 100%. Uh, since we want all elements like HTML, body, then root to have height of 100%, so that when we put our game component, it will take a whole size of the screen. Uh, next, uh, let's add global styles. This includes box sizing. Uh, also, we make outline and margin equal to zero because sometimes it can bring quite, quite a lot of frustration when you forget about uh, adding these styles globally. And as I told, uh, we need to have height 100% for body. And we won't have any code snippets, so let's remove this and add styles for root element. We will keep all the components in one directory. So let's create it and put a file named page.js that will contain the root component there. For now, let's make it um, export only an empty div element with a specified class name. Um, and also, I want to tell that for most project, I would recommend using styled component, but here we decided to go without additional libraries and we won't do many styles here anyway, so it's fine to use CSS here. And since we specified a class name for the page, let's come back to the styles and add some, some styles for page. It takes width and height of 100% and we make background, let's make it dark color. Um, and we add some button. Uh, on the side. It's ready to render a root component. We can go to app.js and use this file to export it. At this point, there is no use in app.js since it doesn't bring any value. Yet, in most cases, we would add things like middleware or wrappers here. Uh, also, let's remove all semicolons from index.js. Now, let's open terminal and type npm start. If we open browser, we should see the dark page. It means we are on the right way.